This is KSL News at 6. I was just worried about my husband being mad at me for wrecking the car, you know. And I had no idea how bad it was. Good evening tonight, that Spanish Fork woman recalling her ordeal after she crashed on a slippery road and slid down a steep embankment in a remote area of Utah County. The woman's recovering in the hospital, and if it wasn't for someone who stopped to check on something that seemed strange, she might not have been found in time. New at 6, Central Utah Specialist Sam Penrod has the story of her rescue. The more I hear about what happened, the more amazed I am. Tina Sperry says she is happy to be in the hospital, considering what happened to her on Friday night along Emma Park Road near Highway 6. All I knew was that the road became slippery as I was on it. Sperry says she suddenly lost control and her car went off the road and slid down a steep embankment. There was snow on the road. They saw the tracks going off the road in the snow. And then they looked down and saw my headlight that was still shining. As she wondered what she was going to do. My back was injured and I couldn't have been able to get out of that car at all. And I don't know how long I would have been there. The help she was praying for was already there. And I heard a voice yelling, hey down there, are you okay? And I said, no, no. And they said, are you hurt? And I said, yes, I'm hurt. And so they said, well, we're EMTs. Within a few minutes, Sperry was out of the car, thanks to the Carbon County EMS. I had so many people there. I couldn't believe when they pulled me out how many people were standing around, even in the freezing cold and down in that terrible place, you know, that was so far down off the road. Sperry works as an accounting consultant and was heading home from Roosevelt, taking the road less traveled instead of the main highway. People tell you don't take shortcuts, <laughs> especially in the winter. With just an injured hand and a couple of fractured vertebrae in her back, Tina and her husband Ken say they are counting their blessings. Especially to the two young men that came up behind and had the wherewithal to stop to find out if there was something wrong. And we would like to meet them someday if we can and shake their hand. You know, I, I just can't say enough about how lucky I was. I mean, really, I truly believe that the Lord was with me, that I was shielded from so much worse. Tina expects to undergo surgery on her back here in the next day or two. She's hoping she'll be out of the hospital by the end of the week. Sam Penrod, KSL 5 News, Provo. Wow, Sam, thank you.